Hi everyone, let's go ahead and see how you can create a Windows machine on Amazon EC2. You need to log in to your Amazon AWS account at console.aws.amazon.com. Thereafter, you need to search here EC2. Otherwise, if it is visible here, you can simply click there. For simplicity, you can search here EC2, then click on EC2. So EC2 is Elastic Cloud Compute. And let me introduce you the interface of EC2. Here you will be seeing all the services provided by AWS. Here you can search all the services provided by AWS. And here you can get the cloud cell. And from here you can select the region where you want to create your EC2 machine. And this is obviously your account here. And this resource section gives you a summary of your running instances or any other resources which you are using at AWS. Currently, I do not have any instances which is in running state. I do not have anything else here other than just two key pairs and six security groups. These, keeping these uh, does not charge you, but if you keep volumes, if you keep elastic IP, if you keep instances, then it will charge you. So make sure that you do not have any instance elastic IP or instances or any volumes in case if you want to save some money. You can scroll it a little down just to see all other details. It says that here the regions in which you are selected currently and other zones where you can find out the service health. Anyway, so you can click on launch instance to launch your Windows machine at EC2. It's not going to launch instantly a Windows machine. You have to do some setup here to create a, their a Windows machine. So the first of all, you need to give the name of your instance. I say here Windows. And thereafter, I scroll it down here and it asks application and OS. So in application and OS, I select here Windows. After Windows, you will be seeing here free eligible, you know, free tier eligible. So I see here this particular instance is uh, freely available for me. So I click on Microsoft Windows Server 2022 base. Thereafter, I just scroll it down a little. You will be seeing here a 64 bit architecture is provided with the Windows Server. 2022 and here is a my id thereafter you will be seeing here instance type you can select any other instance type as well since we have selected here free tier eligible so we are seeing here instance type t2 dot micro but if you click on here you will be seeing here all other instances which you can select but we want to save here some money. We are going to just select here free tier eligible instance. So with this free tier eligible instance, you will be getting here one CPU and one gigabyte of RAM memory. And uh, if you exhaust your free tier package, then you will be charged at 0 0.0162 USD per hour. Thereafter, you scroll it down a little, you will be seeing here a key pair. So in this key pair, what do you see? If you are using your AWS instance, this EC2 instance first time, then you have to create a new key pair. Otherwise, if you already have a key pair, you can simply use that key pair. But now I'm going to create a new key pair. I select here RSA, the name of key pair. I select here YouTube.pem. All right. Thereafter, this PEM will be already selected. So I just remove that PEM from there. And it says that this key pair is already uh, available there. So I write here YouTube underscore Windows key pair. And then I click on create key pair. Do remember, you cannot, uh, you, you cannot download this key pair again so it is created once and it will be downloaded only once you will not have any other option to download this so make sure that you have your key pair safely with you thereafter you go here you see in network setting in network setting uh, you don't have much to uh, uh, modify here in network setting 
But overall with these few of these settings you can control who can access your instance from the outside. Suppose that you are using here a Windows machine. So for Windows you have to allow RDP traffic because this RDP traffic is, is the you know the port or you know the method by using which we are going to connect our uh, EC2 Windows machine from our local machine. This is remote desktop protocol traffic and 0.00, .00 says that we can connect from any IP address. But if you want to, if, if you want to, you know, give any IP, so you can give your IP. So currently, what's my IP? It says that, uh, just let me check it. So if you give this particular IP, then it will connect only from this computer. So if you have any specific IP, you can say that my IP or custom, so it will connect only from your IP and it will not connect from anywhere else. And uh, if you want to allow HTTPS traffic or HTTP traffic from the internet, you can select these as well. So it will make sure that you will be able to receive HTTPS and HTTP traffic on your on on your uh, on your machine there all right thereafter you scroll it down a little then we are going to configure here a storage so in storage we are seeing here a 30 gigabyte of uh, the memory is connected as root volume and this 30 gigabyte memory is also free tier eligible so make sure that you do not uh, uh, go beyond 30 gigabyte of uh, root volume or any volume SSD volume otherwise it will cost you if you run it for more than 30 days in a month thereafter you scroll it down a little you can see here in advanced details so these advanced details we are going to leave as it is we do not want to change anything in this these are quite advanced uh, uh, the term terms which we do not want to disturb as of now since we are just trying to launch here a windows machine at ec2 all right thereafter i'm gonna just click on launch instance it's going to launch the instance we have already uh, all the settings on the place it has successfully initiated launch of instance now you can click on this it's going to open here ec2 instance uh, uh, the window otherwise you can click on here simply on ec2 now if you refresh this uh, you can refresh it from here itself then you will click on instances running you will be seeing okay let me just see here if it is creating okay so it has created here but the instance is not running it that's why we are not able to see it here if you just remove that you will be able to see your instance has now just started running. If you just go back and you refresh this, you should be able to see that one instance is running. If you remember earlier, we had here zero and here zero. Since we had created an instance, now we are able to see here uh, one instance and one volume. Earlier we had here just two key pairs, but now we are having here three key pairs. So these are some of the old uh, key pairs, but here is the recent key pair that we created. This one we created today. All right. Now you need to click on here. Thereafter, you need to just scroll it down a little. All right. You just need to select, in fact, this one, or you can click on here just to see this whole detail. Now you see the detail of your uh, instance. This is instance summary. There is the public IP. If you click on this public IP, it's not going to open because anyway, at our uh, uh, Windows machine that is not acting as a server. So it's currently not able to accept any uh, request. So if you just click on this, you are going to get there, you know, the connection refused error. You just scroll it down a little. Thereafter, you will be seeing here a little bit more detail. So these details you can use for you to understand. Thereafter, you come to here the networking. So in the networking, all the network related details you can find out. In the storage, you will be seeing 
the type of storage and the amount of storage which you are using with your machine and then status check says that if there is any issue with your machine you can get to understand from here and this monitoring says that what's the cpu utilization and what are the other uh, what are the other uh, you know the monitoring parameters like let's say if you deploy your machine in the production you need to monitor your machine so to monitor your machine you have to know that what's the cpu utilization how much network it is using and how much disk is getting used all these information you can get from here itself all right now the time to connect your windows machine from your local machine so i click on here connect then you will be seeing here the multiple options to connect i want to connect it with the rdp client so i click on here rdp client thereafter you need to download remote desktop file make sure that you save this file for the later purpose so i just click on this and now it has downloaded here i just need to click that uh, uh, downloaded rdp and then i click here don't ask me again just connect my ec2 instance thereafter it says that the password you need to click on here you are going to get here the password but before that you have to upload your pem file so i click on here youtube windows.pem file you just upload that thereafter you will be able to see the password so that's the password you just get this password from here and then you need to go to your rdp so here is your rdp and now i'm going to paste my password by control and v this was the password if you see that's what we are able to see i just save here remember me but if you want to use this machine permanently just remember me i will be deleting this machine so i do not want to remember this otherwise you just can't do that more choices will allow you if to control and connect this from different accounts then i click on okay it's going to connect here seems like the logon uh, uh, seems like uh, the, this attempts has failed now i'm going to again copy this from here and then paste it here let me just see it okay so it has connected seems like earlier uh, i had pasted that the two times that's why that password got error uh, the password uh, got denied i click on here s now i have accepted all the certificates i have also accepted that do not ask password from the next time so if you close this from here just close this remote desktop and you come to your download and you just open it again it's going to okay so it's going to ask this password again just let me copy this from here and then paste it here and then i'm just going to remember me so that the next time it will it it will not ask any password to you all right so it's connecting to uh, my uh, windows machine so my windows has just started here it is uh, uh, getting ready for me and just in a while you would be able to see this windows so all the personalization setting has started here all right so my windows machine is ready here we are going to connect our windows with the internet so i click on yes so that it can connect with internet now you can check you have recycle win ec2 feedback ec2 microsoft windows now it also comes with here microsoft edge browser you just click on here you would be able to see here you know the browser so why it is slow as you know that it is using just a single core and there is just 1 gigabyte of memory so obviously it would be a little slow we have to give some time to get it started so microsoft edge has started here now i'm going to open here a site so first time when you launch your windows machine at ec2 it's going to ask you a lot of the details like if you if if, if you want to do the setup sign in and so many stuffs it's going to ask you can simply deny all these stuffs you don't want to continue with any data so you can just deny all these stuffs here okay so i confirm and started browsing here so i'm just first of all going to open uh, uh, our youtube channel from here 
So you can write here youtube.com forward slash KGP talkie. Okay, still it is a little slow, but anyway, I would manage this youtube.com forward slash KGP talkie. I'm just going to open a YouTube channel from where you are watching this video. You can subscribe this channel and you can like this video if it has helped you and uh, please do share this video on social media and with your friends. Perfect. So you can browse or whatever the you know the work you want to do with the Windows machine you can do all those stuffs here at Windows machine at AWS EC2 instance. Alright, this is all about in this lesson. Thanks a lot for watching this. I'll see you next one.